What do you think are the benefits that you get from Shropshire County Council working well? Well, obviously I'm getting quite old and they're going to be paying my pension, so hopefully they're saving lots of money for me. I think they, um, they do quite well with all the after-school activities and stuff. I think that's quite good, and considering it can cost quite a bit of money with all the schools in Shropshire. I think that's quite good, the thing about it. Good hospitals, good schools, better jobs for me. Well, I don't live here. I live in Cambridge, actually. But I'm on holiday and I come up here quite a lot. And I think it's a beautiful town, beautiful place. And I like the way it's preserved, you know, lots of good things about it. Particularly the new cinema, you know what I mean, the cinema? Above the old um, building there. I think that's brilliant. Both at the cafe and all that. So I'm really pleased that shops are doing this, all right? Keep our pavements clean and make sure that nothing's going to go wrong in Shropshire. Um, well, I think it's a good organisation to work for, especially when you're here with Shire Services, because of the fact that you do have the perks of uh, having school holidays. You do get paid quite well, and you get a very good pension at the end. Yeah, um, yeah it seems an efficient council, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, the infrastructure seems um, up to speed and stuff like that. Yeah, it's good. Well, I am a county councillor, so I'm involved in uh, determining the policy of the county council, and it's very much about providing services for people in our county from all sorts of ages, and without the various services the council provides, I think the community would be the poorer. Um, they provide learning centres and keep the pavements clean and roads in good condition. Um, lower, lower council tax. If the council council's working well, they'll be spending our money very well, wisely. I think that um, the services run well, they don't make a big loss, they don't make a massive profit which means they're overcharging people, so everyone's got a chance to carry out a different service, it may be sports, it may be leisure, it may be book clubs, it may be libraries. As an organisation, I work for Teenage Pregnancy and we work across agencies and Shropshire County Council support us in all the work that we do and I think it's very important that um, when they're working well they communicate well and that's what's important to bring agencies together. Attracting more people into the town and bringing more, more um, customers through people working well throughout the town and just bringing generally into the market themselves like and make, making people buy more stuff, having more money to spend, and so on. Like. Right, well, I personally benefit, because I'm um, representative of the police service, I benefit from the fact that if the county council are working well, that we have joint objectives and we reach shared objectives which benefit the people of Shropshire. Well, we are a Shropshire County Council school, they own the school, we're all employed by Shropshire County Council, and their job is to support us. So we get support in a whole range of ways. Personnel support, if we have problems with staffing, special needs support, curriculum support, financial support and premises support. So in a sense, whenever we have any kind of problems in those areas, we go to Shropshire County Council and they help us. Okay, um, if you could choose three things that you would expect from an excellent council, what would they be? <laughs> um, well, I think good housing. People need to be housed well. <laughs> and uh, good transport as well. That's one thing we, we don't do enough of in England, I think. Um, and. Uh, Probably good facilities like libraries, that kind of thing. Okay. I'd expect them to use their money wisely, putting people first and not using too much in running their own organisation. I'd expect all sectors of the community to be helped, not just those that are going to bring money into the county. And I can't think of a third one. Um, low taxes. Um, better um, restaurants and also um, smoking places. Um, good recycling, good local traffic and good parking. Uh, reliable, um, friendly and uh, helpful. Um, to have connections obviously with their, the general public. Um, so that the general public have a voice in whatever, what goes on in the county. Education, health and the road systems. Uh, lots of advertising to help the community, um, lots of support to the community and uh, um, from an excellent council I would expect very clear communication 
I would expect that they had a clear vision of what services they were aiming to provide and I'd expect they had a clear understanding of what their, what their community is expected. Um, services, services and services I think really. <laughs> I would expect them to do what they say they're going to do. I mean, you know, it's, yeah. it's kind of fairly obvious, but I think that's really important. If somebody has said they will do something, they should do it, or they should, you know, if they can't for some reason, get back and explain why not. Um, I think they should listen to what people want, so not go in and say, this is what we're going to provide for you, but actually listen to uh, the public. Um, and what's the other thing? Well, I think they should be a, a good example, so they should show other people, for instance, in environmental policies, in work, employment policies, they, they should actually try and be the best they can be. Um, good services for disadvantaged people right across the age spectrum, particularly with reference to young people and old people. Those will be my three. Um, good road works, um, looking after the old people and bring the council tax down. Is there anything you'd like to see improve in the way that Shropshire County Council does business? I would. I've got a disabled daughter and there's not really many facilities for people to do things in the daytime or there's not much help for finding work in the community or anything like that for disabled young people. There's some roads that don't have um, many street lights so when you're trying to turn to a drive there's no street light there you end up going into a wall. I work in transport and I'd actually like to see it um, providing more of a good example in terms of encouraging people to cut down on their car use and use other means to get to work. Parking for a start with. Not that I've got a car myself but I think it's sad that they should charge people for parking when they want more people to come into town for the businesses. Um, my dad thinks that some of um, the, ca the council around here, they should um, charge more because at the moment um, you can find dog mess everywhere and they're not doing anything about it and my dad thinks that maybe the council should charge them people who leave it around. Uh, no, I think, they're, I think they're doing a very good job as it is. Well, I think they're doing a pretty good job, but I think that they could perhaps make some changes to the town that the, every man on the street can see. Um, improvements to nightlife, perhaps, in that there's not very many things open after six or seven, which is a problem. Places to eat, stuff like that. Well, Shropshire Council Council is a good council. I think they, that we generally enjoy working with them. There are one or two officers of the County Council who aren't as helpful as others. Now, I don't intend to name them here, because that would be grossly unfair. But in certain areas I might phone someone up and they're not particularly helpful. In other areas they're very, very helpful. So what I would like to see is every officer, every person we deal with the county, being as good as the best officers are. Um, they could like make, because going down near the, um, the White Lion pub, there's like, it's really small pavement. They could have made that a bit wider. We live in Muxton and I would call it Mucky Muxton because people don't, aren't deterred from um, their dogs fouling. I, d I think they need to um, do something about that. That's desperate. Never, never to find yet over dog fouling. No, you <laughs> need to stand here. <laughs> um, I think they should um, do something about the, um, the lane where you go over the bridge, the new one, and there's loads of dog poo in this. There's like overgrown plants and everything, it's horrible to walk down there. Um, as with all things, the delivery of services for a county council is a very large task. It's about trying to take everybody's um, responsibilities and needs into account. So it's very difficult to say where specifically I would like to see them improve. However, I think um, an emerging area is certainly that of uh, working with other agencies, for example the police and others. There is an awful lot of uh, progress that can be made in that area. I think the County Council does do, do a good job, but it could um, be better by focusing on minor points that they're not focusing on at the moment. Yeah, I think they're doing a good job, but they could Im like give some more thought into things and stuff. How can an excellent authority improve, get even more excellent and keep on improving? 
I think that's about um, making sure that they bring together good groups of people that can communicate well together, but also about consultation with the community and listening to the community, exactly what the community want and delivering that in a cost-effective and efficient way. Listening to what the people who live in the area tell them. Uh, by working together, I think, more than they do. They seem to all do their own thing instead of, of doing it all together. Yeah. Um, well, no, no organisation is going to be perfect. There's always going to be things that it can improve on, mm -hmm. um, and particularly looking at areas that it's no, it knows it's weak at, or that, where there's complaints coming through from people that use its services, um, and improving its performance against um, performance targets and indicators. Don't know, really. Uh, just being fair and honest. The main thing is to listen to the people. I think they should listen to the people more, and... Uh, you know, sort of, well, not just sit in offices all the time and just listen to people more. Um, teamwork and also being polite to people. Um, being friendly and making sure that the person you've helped is okay. Like, because if you be your mood, they might be not in a good mood and might have not listened to you. What ethos do you think the Shropshire County Council should operate by? Um, I think an ethos of providing the very best services it can for the, for the people of Shropshire and as I say in working in partnership with the other agencies to deliver that. Being honest and open and that everybody can have access to all everything they do so that we know exactly what's going on. The aim of Shropshire County Council should be to help the school help the students. So what I want to see is support for the school so the school can support and educate the students. Um, I actually think there should be honesty openness and integrity. They are managing our money well. Yeah, if they can get that across to um, the residents of Shropshire really, okay. that's, that's worth it, that we feel um, our money and our um, services then are in there in good hands. Services to people of the, the highest quality and the best standard available. They need to be honest, truthful and, uh, and look at wages of teachers very carefully. Um, Things like um, they have to all agree on something, so say so someone says one thing and the other one says the other thing, and have a vote, decide which one you think is the best and then put it into the rules or whatever they're going to put it into.